it is really some crowd of people that uh, are present here. So I think for the region as Rhine, the, the impact of that is it's, it's immense. We have been listening to the speech of the uh, chairman, chairperson of the Gauss Prize. I think, uh, yeah, he actually answered a lot of the concerns we've heard uh, over there with the protesters. Africa. Concerns uh, about the new borders in Europe, you know, borders that are um, erased inside of Europe are, you know, popping up back at the outside. Yeah. That was his main complaint. Yeah. And, and, yeah. They, and they want to, to be more sensitive about that. They want to also think about the rest of the world, not just Fortress Europe. Another thing was the creativity part, which surprised me, you know, positively. He said uh, more creativity is, is needed if the EU really uh, wants to become a better uh, place and uh, I think that's also what the protesters basically want. They want a little bit more uh, creativity on the level of yeah, thinking of economics uh, and politics. So. Thinking out of the box. Out of the box. Out of the box. I think uh, that was stressed. So yeah, I think maybe the protesters will, I think they're also a little bit more quiet. Yeah. Huh? I think they're, they're put at ease and uh, let's hope, you know, we can yeah. come to some kind of more positive interaction. So. At, at but some moment in this day, also the protester will accept the fact that Merkel, as the mayor of Aachen said, that Merkel dynamized you know, the whole uh, European Union and really learned all the people and institutions and businesses to, to think out of the box. I think uh, next year he's definitely going to get a prize, definitely. He will be a good candidate. Yeah, or he would be a good candidate, yes. Stop the war. I speak Dutch. Stop the war. Halt. Du du willst ein Halt machen an die Krieg? Nein. Gegen. Ich bin immer gegen Krieg. Gegen die Krieg. Ja, ja. Und und Angela Merkel ist ist sie eine Proponent des Militarisierung? Militarisierung. Macht hält zusammen und stärkt sich gegenseitig. Mhm. Und wo, was, wozu führt das? Gegen, ja. gegen die Kleinen. Das ist immer so. Die, die, die Präsidentin der äh, Karlspreis hat ja. gesagt, dass äh, der Angela Merkel ist, ist ein äh, Motor der äh, Uni ist. Äh, ja, sie bringt äh, Völkern zusammen. Ja, und? Das ist doch Quatsch. Wer gut lügen kann, bringt es auch gut rüber. Ah. Wir brauchen eine Mutter fürs Volk. So here we again get get some uh, different uh, angle to Angela Merkel. I guess we can summarize it that she's not been seen so much as a, as as a real mother of, of the world and of Europe, but more as a mother of her own clan or her own family. I had, I had the impression that for her the mother figure of Angela Merkel was something violent, a mother who cares too much and militarizes through that concern, you know, the whole of Europe. Okay, so so we get a sort of tyrannical mother. You say no prize for Angela Merkel because no war against Afghanistan. Yeah. Is that the only reason why no, you think no, Angela Merkel? That, that's not the only reason. It's one of the most important reasons because we think that by the European um, treaty, mm -hmm. the militarism will increase. As we heard the president of the Karls Preis yes. in his introduction, he was explaining that Europe, the new Europe, has a has a great concern for Africa and for other countries. How do we react on that? They, they say it since 50, 100 years, sir, but the colonialism, in Af especially in Africa, is the same like for uh, 100 years ago. If you see in the tradition, Charles, Charlemagne, Charles yeah, Charlemagne, the Great, yeah. was also an emperor who built his, his, uh, uh, his, yeah, his empire. kingdom, yeah. empire, with war. You don't think war is sometimes also necessary to unite the people? Like uh, without Charles the Great, maybe there wouldn't be a EU and... Yeah, but, but uh, there's a unification uh, between the people with, with power, with only with power. Yes. And uh, that can't be a true unification. Okay, yeah. This is a big moment. Uh, this is a wonderful moment now. Uh, you really have... Um, France and Germany finally joined together. Joined together. Uh, there's there's still a lot of uh, shouting there in the back, um, but uh, it was a lovely moment, I think. Um.
Now we get uh, Michael Jackson's song, uh, We Heal the World. So I think this is also very appropriate. So I guess uh, perform my children. They are the future of the region. Yes, uh, quite uh, as you can hear, there's uh, mixed she's, emotions. I think she's proud. Definitely. I mean, uh, she looks very weak in a sense, uh, vulnerable. And she's really uh, emotioned and. Which is how she is, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, she's just Angela. Yeah, forget the militarization, neoliberalism. It's just... Uh, it's pathetic, I'm, you know, this criticism about militarization. How can you see this I'm, in this wonderful yeah, world? I'm sort of really looking and, and she, she, the way she stands there, all vulnerable, but at the same time very brave in a man's world, I think... This is... Uh, one should not underestimate this. Oh, this she's, is it. She's a bit nervous. Yeah, she's nervous even. I, I don't know... Maybe it's also the protesting sort of gets to her a little bit. There's no, uh, you know, giving her uh, acceptance uh, speech. She's thanking, uh, in particular, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy for, for at the first place being here, and uh, you know, also being uh, willing to grant this prize to her as a German uh, president. Yeah, well, I think it's really uh, amazing that the region gets so much. Uh, Positive attention. It's in the focus now, and it's in really in the eye of, uh, of Europe. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't just fade away. You know, sometimes you have it at these events, but I don't think this event will, will it will stay for Aachen for at least uh, the coming year. Can you explain? You you look uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit like, yeah, yeah, like a clown. Yes. Uh, do you think uh, do you think there's something funny or or, or why, no, why do you dress like? Absolutely not funny. The whole yeah. thing is not funny at all. Mrs. Chancellor Merkel here is now emperor, and um, she got all the, the things now. This fantastic thing uh, for the companies in yes, Europe. Yes and this uh, Euro uh, neoliberal um, formation. Yeah. Um, you think it's all about money? No, it's not all about money. There are 15,000 lobbyists in Brussels. There are 6,000 6, lobbyists in um, Berlin. Mm -hmm. It is ridiculous. It has nothing more to do with, with any kind of democracy. Freedom is not... Uh it is not there, you have to fight for it and you need persons who will fight for it. They have their own freedom. That is not your freedom, it is not your freedom, it is not the freedom of the people. It is the, it is the freedom of the big companies to do any kind of policy and marching through with their ideas. I, th I think they're coming out now. Ah, there she is, there she is, wonderful. Really uh, greeting the people. Again, there's a lot of uh, mixed uh, mixed emotions, but uh, I think she is a worthy winner. Yeah, yeah. She, I think she's uh, the kind of person who doesn't really mind too much. She's uh, used to uh, opposition, and she greets the people. Also, Nicolas. Yeah. Very nice. They are very, uh, you see the people are very emotional. Uh, yeah, as you hear it, uh, the crowd is really very, there's a division line in the crowd here. Uh, some people really are uh, very enthusiastic and happy, other, other people are really just uh, booing and... Um, you can hear it, uh, it's very disturbing, very disturbing. Uh, like it, it, it started out as, as was going to be a very good day for the region, eh? Yes, anyway, the, the, the front is there, the German-French uh, front is uh, created and uh, it is there, you know. Yeah, Critics yeah. can say whatever they want. Yeah, they it's back. It, but okay, yeah, okay. That's the important uh, thing. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and I got a very big appetite. But you keep 